The Nara Connect and the Who Are You? I'm uh, Mike Holmes. I'm the director of the core development team. So the core development team, that's the team that's in the core of everything? What's it's, the core development team? Yeah, there's four teams. There's the kernel working group, security working group, power management, and virtualization. And they try to do the work that the segment groups uh, who, who really talk to the members bring in that's common to everybody. Um, so that, that's four groups that you are, you are, what do you do with them? Uh, Manage well, them? Uh, yes, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm the director. Fortunately, the, the tech leads of those four teams are very good. And you know, there are, within those teams, there are quite a few kernel maintainers themselves. So they're all talented. They don't need technical direction. So I try to do my best to um, connect the work they're doing to the members so the members understand what's happening and can influence what they see as a, you know, a core need to be solved. Uh, do all the members uh, really get it, like really know what they want and what they would like to, uh, things to go and do everybody agree or is there a lot of discussion going on all it, the time? It, it's, yeah, that's actually one of the things. So I've been in this role only since the Budapest Connect, about six months, and one of the things I was tasked with is improving exactly that because historically we haven't been good at communicating what we're doing. And so the members haven't been able to influence it or, or understand the you know, benefits. And you're doing a lot, right? Linaro oh, is doing a lot. Yes, I, I, probably people are aware. We, we tend to score well in the top 10 of the Linux kernel uh, contributions. And um, Opti was just merged with the kernel, so on the security side. Power management is in now even tighter collaboration with ARM on the future things like Dynamic and other uh, technologies. So there's a lot happening. So uh, what's your uh, uh, impression of uh, Linaro in the last six months? Uh, what's, it's got a, uh, a huge influence already, but it could be even bigger or it could be more targeted or there's many different things um, that could happen? It's driven by identified need. And I guess, you know, the identified things are obviously, there's the ongoing IoT, there's automotive. So the real task for Lenaro is to find the interested members and understand where the common work is and start trying to upstream the solutions and you know, pull people together. There's still some very big challenges ahead, right? There's still some big mountains to climb. But I think there's the, always the ongoing things. Members are trying to make money from things and they, you know, they're trying to get value from Lenaro. So it's finding those pieces of the work which are common that they don't they, they're happy to give away and work collaboratively collaboratively on versus the pieces that have to be kept behind to you know make money and do all the engineers have their own uh, visions kind of like ideas what things should happen and stuff and you take this in and try to make it fit and make it work and all that stuff I, I think so and I think you know like I say I'm lucky the teams I'm involved with there are a number of maintainers and the tech leads are very talented have been working the area so yeah there's there's good opinions but also they're very familiar with working with lots of opinions you work upstream you get a lot of opinions